the people who are behind this are either in on the fix, threatened into it, or are useful idiots, pawns being manipulated to support the subversion of the Libertarian Party and the freedom movement as a whole, to set us back, to destine us to be slaves until the federal government collapses under its own weight rather than confronting it directly, peacefully, politically. They are robbing us of this possibility, of this basic human right to have our voices heard. And we must stand up now and fight this corruption and ensure that we have an in-person convention for the Libertarian Party to conduct its business, to elect national officers, and to nominate the candidates for president and vice president for 2020. None of the excuses being used come anywhere near justifying entrusting the Libertarian National Committee at the expense of the vote of the members to hold a digital vote of any kind whatsoever. There is no way that it can be pulled off in the time necessary with any kind of reasonable transparency, integrity, oversight, or accountability that would prevent corruption, let alone something like what happened to the Democrats earlier this year in Iowa with their digital caucus system. And it's not because they couldn't pull it off. It's because when they tried, Bernie Sanders was robbed of the victory to give it to Pete Buttigieg to clear the way for Joe Biden to be the nominee of the Democrats. And yes, there is a perfect parallel here within the Libertarian Party. We cannot allow the party of principle to be the party of corruption, the party of secrecy, the party of manipulation, the party of victims, or the party of washed up Republicans. We cannot be the party that allows ourselves to be manipulated by the mainstream media, by infiltrators, and by people who clearly do not have the best interest of freedom at heart. Now more than ever, it is critical to stand up for the Libertarian Party and ensure that the LNC does not stand in the way of us being the party of principle.